Good evening, folks. Welcome to tonight's game between the Kentucky Wildcats and the Tennessee Volunteers. Number five does a wonderful job in using his upperclassman leadership to inspire his team on the floor. He is always determined as an upperclassman not to let his team down when the chips are on the line. The Volunteers will certainly want to take advantage of his presence on the floor. The Volunteers are getting a very tough opponent tonight, Dick. What's the key to victory for them? Hey, they've got to do the simple things out there, and they should be okay. Number one, I look at the point guard to step up tonight and really take control of his club. Secondly, reward your big men for running the court. Get them some easy buckets in transition. And finally, get your man on your hip after the shot, block out, and get after those boards. All right, there you have it. Let's get to the action, see what's in store for us. Got to give that five-second call to the defense. Oh, and this packed house is showing their appreciation for their team. Well, there's euphoria out there. They're really excited. They're going bananas. They work the perimeter. The point guard with the ball. Defender knocked the ball loose, but the offense got it back. Now trying to feed the low block. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. The ball goes out of bounds. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. Ten seconds to get it off. They'll work it around the arc. He tries the jumper. A lot of people can't hit that shot anymore. Dick, that 10-12-foot uh, shot. Yeah, the medium-range shot is a, an, an extension. Fakes it. Step out on that screener. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. Nice deal there, but the offense gets the ball back. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure, just enough to force the steal. Shepard is fired up right now emotionally. And you know what, Brad? I'm excited for him. He's putting on a performance. Stolen away. This defense isn't yielding an inch. Hey, the offense looks very timid, Brad. Oh, what a strip, Brad. Goes up for two. How can you not love this game and the hoopla and fanfare that goes along with it? This place is rocking and rolling, baby. They go into the low block. Gets it back out. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. He strips him clean. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. There's the pick. On the top of the key. Way off target. Dick, it's really been a while since I've seen a team shoot like this. Hey, every once in a while, you get a squad that gets on a tear and simply makes your jaw drop. It's fun to watch, isn't it, Brad? Gave it up. And now they'll bring it up. He goes for three. It'd be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. He's doing it all right now for this team. It'll be interesting to see if he can keep this up. Try to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block for two. I did a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork. It's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. He keeps his dribble as they reset. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. The shooting guard takes the feed, makes it. The 
The power forward gets the pass. And he missed. Basket falls despite the contact. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. That tight defense forces a five-second call. They'll throw this one in from the side. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I think doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Dick, when I see those types of things, I just get chills. Oh, I couldn't agree with you more, Mr. Nestler. We are so lucky that we get to go to all these schools and experience the mayhem firsthand. He knocks down another bucket, Dick. This kid's got skills, Brad. Thank you for joining us tonight with Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. I'm Brad Nessler. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Take a look right here. Now they work it around the perimeter. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> Trying to feed the low block for the bucket. I love this guy hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. Both teams looking to get things going here. And a momentary look from three-point land. He shoots from right of the circle. Off the rim and no good. He puts it in with contact and all. They work it around the perimeter. Great anticipation defensively. Down inside. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Picks off the lazy pass. The point guard takes the pass. Another turnover. And we're not talking apple turnovers either. The small forward gets the ball. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. And one too many dribbles and a steal. He pushes it up the floor. Got a guy right up on him. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Field wants the crowd to get fired up and involved. He wants everyone up for the next possession. There's the trap. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Tough spot defensively in the post, but he got the steal. Wow, I could have made that steal. He telegraphed that. He was the Marconi guy. What a poor pass. The frustration right there. Up and inside. My goodness. Players these days and their athleticism basically jumping up in the air and then deciding what they're going to do. <laughs> I'll tell you, it must be nice. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. A defensive player beats him to the spot. Oh, 
I strip him in a basketball. I got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. Get that good spacing. He puts it up. He drains it. On the dribble, gives it up. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. There he is. Strips the ball loose. Look at speed. I tell you, man. There's nothing like having athleticism and quickness. Turns it over. Jumps into the defender, and he scores despite the hat. Field is trying to pump up the crowd. He wants the crowd excited for this offensive possession. And the ball goes out of bounds. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Brad, before the game, the coaching staff told me they worried this situation could happen. They told me it's so important for the supporting cast to get involved and not rely on one player. Right now, the coaches are trying to get everyone on the bench on the same page, guys. Fake blocks the shot. Works the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Great play to take that to the basket. He shoots from the top of the key. He missed the jumper off the nice screen. Leans in. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. There they come with a double team to stop it. Run him right into the screen again. What did I say? For two, he keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Working it around the perimeter. Hard foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Here's a flash from the post up high. Picked off. They've got a three-point shooter spotting up. Tennessee are on a run right here as of late, Nick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. Intercepted. They work it around the perimeter. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Trying to draw some contact. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Steals a pass. Tries for two. And in and out. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle. Was locking on the box. He hits the shot. The student body appears to be pumped up, and they are ready to explode. Aren't they great, Brad? I love it. Gave it up. Now they work it around the perimeter. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipated really well. Perfectly executed. Let's see that up close. <laughs> 
work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. For the bucket, easy one. How about this? Takes away the pass. Goes up for two. Too much contact there. It knocked him off balance a little. Look at that spacing. For two, Tennessee are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Dickey's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Looking for a good shot. He shoots from long range. It's good. Move it into the front court. He puts up the three ball. Makes the shot. There's a double team waiting there. The ball goes out of play. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover day. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. out of play. Trying to draw the foul. Basket falls despite the contact. On the dribble, gives it up. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. Jumps in. What should they do here, Dick? Let's call a timeout and see what's going on out there. There's definitely some miscommunication happening. On the inside. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Picks off the pass. Gave it up. Long lead pass for the bucket. Perfectly executed. Here's a double team. Great play to take that to the basket. On the dribble, gives it up. Picked out of the air. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to go. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. The Wildcats are going to be at the line for the first time in this game. First shot, no good. Second shot is no good. He takes the board. Unloads. He gets that one to fall.
great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move. And he does it exceptionally well. He intercepts it. Oliveira is receiving a lot of support from the hometown crowd. He's very popular, Brad. He has done some great things on the court, and the people really appreciate him for it. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Just play, son. Just play. Let your game do the taunting. The Wildcats can't get things going right here. Emotionally, they look like they're spent. Hey, Brad, they must turn things around. There's no point in dwelling on what just took place. Look ahead. Look to the future. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. And that's going to be an offensive foul for sure. What a great job defensively. What a super job. Great footwork. And he really draws the charm. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting the good inside angle. A poor job defensively. No help. I mean, that is post play at its best. Gave it up. He does the sweet fake shot. He tries a jump hook. And he missed. He pump fakes. With a deep shot from outside. It sticks. Looking for contact. Perfectly executed. Two for one opportunity. He's got a nice shot fake. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Looking for the foul. They still don't score. Takes the pass in the paint. From the baseline, they'll bring it out on top. He takes a three. Ain't no stopping him right now from the Arctic. You better believe it, baby. They're making him pay from out there. He gets the rejection. Dick, he's in a serious rhythm. Hey, that's because he's getting the ball in rhythm, right? Very important. The Wildcats have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. At the end of the first half, the Volunteers are down by eight. We've had a very tight contest tonight, Dick. What's your highlight of the half? No bigger shot in the first half for me than this three ball from downtown, baby. Teams build the confidence they need when the threes are falling. We're about ready to start the second half, Dick. Let's go down and see how this one unfolds. Start of the second half, Dick. Our focus player update. What's he got to get done in the second half for them to win? I think you got to set some screens for him, a little double screens. He's a great shooter, but he's not getting the opportunity. I think his teammates have to screen for him. Tennessee allowed the ball to be taken away a lot in that first half, partner. Not so much taken away, but given away. If you can't take care of the rock, you're not going to win many games. Goes up for two. In and out. Moving it around the perimeter. 
He looks for three. He buries the shot. And the fans here are loving the action. It's electrifying in here. Stolen ball. Puts it up, looking for contact. Contact on the shot attempt causes the misfire. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. From way outside, he gets the bucket to fall. Up and inside. In the paint, the fake. Double team now, bad angle. Andre, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep close position, and the jump hook is so effective. Looking shot. He is super. He really is. <laughs> and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. Kentucky have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. Dickey still applying great pressure on the dribbler. Dick, you know, we always like uh, comparing positions and specific matchups. What are your thoughts about the backcourt matchup so far? Hey, Brad, sometimes comparisons can be misleading. If your backcourt is weaker, then you just hope to contain your opponent's guards. Keep them in check. If you have strong backcourt play, you must attack and exploit any mismatches. Second one is no good. The defense is really commanding the tempo. Hey, they're keeping him out of sync. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up to get in trouble for a position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. Watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in a post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. The Wildcats are up by 10. Working it around the perimeter. Jumped in front to take it away. Unloads a three. Makes it. On the outside. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Looks at a three, gets it to go. He's getting lost on every move. We got to see more heart on defense. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Change in possession. The defense knocked it loose, then went and got it. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Kentucky have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to drop. He puts it in with contact and all. Has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. He misses it. Ball's kicked out from the post. He gets it to fall. Yeah. 
fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect for the same. You know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. it rejected defense did a great job with that block shot but he missed the shot that's good picks off the lazy pass pushes it up isolated on the outside they work it around the arc looking for the open jumper Picked off. They'll work it around the arc. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Good fake. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Scorches the net. Here they come with a double team to stop it. He tries the three ball. Shot was no good, baby. Beautiful use of the screen, though. The Wildcats are up by 12. Nice fake. On the dribble, gives it up. Dickey really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. Gave it up. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. He shoots from the top of the key. He nails the bucket. On the dribble, gives it up. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork, really excellent on the post play. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Young man, be careful. Taunting is definitely a no-no. That'll definitely rub the opponents the wrong way. He strips him clean. He wants a three. Got it. Here he is defensively, and this is going to be an Academy Award, Dick. Absolutely, Academy Award at its best. Look out, he's in the face of the opposition. I don't know if all of that is necessary, Brad. The Volunteers are frustrated. They better be careful, or they could find themselves in really a nasty funk out there, Dick. Hey, partner, you really are sharp. That's a great observation. If they don't turn things around in a hurry, it could snowball into something much worse. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Brad and Dick, there's a sense of urgency down here at the bench. The coaching staff is stressing it's time to start playing their game. Brad, I think it's time for their star player to start leading his team out here. Thanks, Aaron. Now the high screen. Tries for two. Any chance for a comeback in this blowout, Dick? I'd have to see it to believe it. I don't think there's enough time. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. Looking for a good shot. Gave it up. He shoots from the elbow. That's seven on answer.
He fires from long range. The Volunteers have got to continue to get him the ball. That he's on fire. For three, great shot. Historically, it's been the women's team that's gotten most of the attention, but the men's program steadily improving. They're starting to come on, Dick. Hey, well, they've got a new coach and a mentality now, and with all of that came an exciting new team and a style of play. For the bucket, perfectly executed. The Volunteers trail by 17. On the dribble, gives it up, steals a pass. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Gave it up, takes away the pass. He shoots from downtown. We have definitely got a blowout here, Dick. I must say, I'm a little surprised at how this one's turning out. I definitely didn't expect this. On the outside, he launches a three. He can't miss. Hey, this young man's feeling it, Brad. Takes the pass in the paint. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move, and he does it exceptionally well. And a momentary look from three-point land. Oliveira pounded on his way up. There's a look at the timeout situation. Hey, some people like to call it game management, Brad. Knowing when to use timeouts is an art. Also, team fouls. Defending without fouling is always important. Two at the charity strike. For two, and off the mark. On the dribble, gives it up. They get the ball down low, and he hips up with his man, and down he goes. Hey, Brad, that's a flop. That's Mr. Flop right there. Don't call that, baby. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Number 32 walks out to get his first minutes tonight. They have such a deep bench, Brad. This kid could start for any program in the land. Except this one, apparently. Well, you never know what the story really is. He looks for the bomb. That was nice. Dick, the defense isn't doing a great job of positioning here. No, they're not, Brad. They're getting toasted on every turn. Moving it around the perimeter with the fake. He launches the bomb. It's good. The Volunteers trail by 21. Gave it up. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, good post play because the footwork was excellent. So many guys walk with their pivot foot. He does a great job showing ball, ball fake, and good footwork, keeping his pivot foot down. There's a double team waiting there. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. Up and inside. Way out on top, controlling the ball. This thing may get out of hand. I smell a rout in the making, Brad. Intercepted. On the dribble, gives it up. A 
outside jumper. The Volunteers have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. On the inside. There's the trap. Nice high post squeeze. Goes for the deep one. He's money with the shot. The Wildcats lead by 17. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. Now they work it around the perimeter. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Picks off the pass. They'll work it around the arc. Let's it fly. Way off target. Looking to move it around the perimeter. And he'll kick it back outside. From three-point land, the Volunteers have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. That he's on fire. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. Makes it. Stolen. Turnover. Great job knocking the ball loose, then chasing it down. Get that sucker out of the game, man. I post screen, gonna use it. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. He bombs from outside. Off the rim and no good. Here we go on the break. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? He goes to the free throw line. Makes his first. the feed he lets it go knocks it down let's see it if the replay does that any justice <laughs> tries one from three-point land it sticks Step defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Nice little jam right there, the one hand jam and stuff. Little showtime, little pizzazz. Get out the mustard. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Terrell, pump fakes. 
He beats him to the punch to his shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. Nick, let's take a look at right now at our backcourt production. Hey, team success depends on backcourt production, Brad. If you can handle the rock, make good decisions, penetrate, and knock down the open jumper, you give yourself a great opportunity to get to the winner's circle. That's probably why you're out of coaching. Too many points off turnovers. I'll tell you one thing. That leads you to the exit sign. No question. You get the Ziggy. I'll tell you, you got to protect the basketball. You can't turn it over. <laughs> the Ziggy. I love that. Got it. The senior leader showing no fear. He got the basket plus the foul. He's relentless, baby. Big time basket and foul. If you want to know how aggressive a team is, you check to see how many times they go to the free throw line. That's a great indicator. Looking for a good shot. Jumps into the defender, and he scores despite the hack. Looking for a good shot. Unloads a three. He makes the shot. Defense giving some room. He shoots from the top of the circle. Perfectly designed, perfectly executed, easy basket. Terrell in the paint. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help solved. Number 15 checks in for the first time. I'll tell you, this is what they need coming off the bench, Brad. I can't emphasize it enough, Brad. It's important to get to the charity strike. Makes the front end of the one and one. Free throw is good. Here's a double team. He attempts the three, makes the shot. The Wildcats have a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. And as you would say right here, Mr. Vitale, flop city. I tell you one thing, <laughs> absolutely a flop. No doubt, Mr. Nestler. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Shot clock is dead. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. The Volunteers have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Gave it up. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. And he missed. Sweet looking shot. He is super, he really is. He shoots from the top of the key. He gets another shot off and in. Hey, this show's about to start, Brad. Tennessee is on the receiving end of a blowout. This is a surprise since the two teams were so evenly matched. It's been a fun game, and as always, my partners alongside have enjoyed you being with us. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler. Good night, everybody.